Hi everyone, welcome back to the React JS tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about nesting components. Nested components in React JS help you create more complex view element structures. Let's see how we can use nested components. So switch to the project and inside the project, just click on SRC, then components. You can see here, this is the post component. Now inside the post component, just create a new component. So just right click and click on new file. Uh, let's say new component name is student component. So just write here as student.js. All right. Inside the student component, uh, first of all, just write here import react comma component inside the curly bracket so just write here component all right from react react inside the single quote so just write here react all right now just create a class component so just write here class a student x Ends with extend component. All right. Inside the student class, just write here render method and inside the render method, just return and here just create a div. So just write here div. and inside this div i am just going to write a student details so just write here let's say h1 tag a student details all right let's say name inside the p tag just write here name let's say name is Jennifer. so just write here Jennifer, then email. All right, let's say email is Jennifer at the rate email.com. All right, one more fill. Let's say phone. So just write here phone, and let's say phone number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero right and here just export the class so just write here export default in class name which is a student so just write here a student all right now save the student class and now add this a student component to the post component so just open post component and inside the post component first of all import the student component so just write here import a student from uh, path of this file this component so just write here dot slash component slash student sorry this is the path dot slash a student okay all right now inside the render method inside this method i am just going to write here after the form just write here br tag and here I am just going to write here a student all right now save the file and and let's see the result so go to the browser and go to the URL localhost colon 3000 
and you can see here student details okay if i change the name inside the student let's say the name is john and save the file and you can see here name has been changed okay so in this way you can use nested component in react.js so that's all about nesting components so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching